Hello everybody. So I'm glad to be here. So uh, today's presentation title is New Materials for Fuel Cell Electrolyzed Cell and Hydrogen Storage. Okay. This is today's outline. I will introduce uh, Sumitomo Electric. After that, our products and I will show applications and benefit using cellmet. Cellmet means uh, porous metal. So uh, we have uh, developed fuel cell, electrolyzer, hydrogen storage. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I will sh explain history of Sumitomo Electric. In uh, 1590, uh, Sumitomo started business as a copper smelter. And in 1691, uh, the base copper mine was opened. After that, 1897, our company Sumitomo Electric uh, started business as Sumitomo Copper Rolling Works. So Sumitomo Electric Group has strived to extend its expertise wire product to the development of proprietary. So Sumitomo Electric has 390 subsidiaries and affiliates uh, worldwide. Our products consist of automotive parts, info communications, electronics, industrial, material, and environment and energy. For more than 120 years, Sumitomo Electric has challenged the development uh, new products for new fields. Of course, we have uh, material technology to hydrogen society. Uh, this is a uh, uh, porous metal. We named it uh, cellmet. And we have also cloud and alloy wire. Uh, we, uh, this material will support for hydrogen society in the future. And we have also gasket and hose for hydrogen. And we have developed cell for SOFC and PFC. For example, our SOFC cell can be operated at intermediate temperature, such as 400 degrees. So we contribute to the achievement of hydrogen society using our materials. Today, I will show you the potential of porous metal and alloy. This slide shows what cellmet is. Cellmet is made of nickel. And this is the same image of cellmet. So as you can see, it cellmet is three-dimensional mesh with a, a high porosity, maximum 98%, and also have a high electrical conductivity and high purity. And we can cut and press forming easily. So unique features work for a variety of products. Uh, in this slide, I will explain manufacturing process of cellmet. The surface of polyurethane resin form is coated with carbon powder. Uh, for electroconductive layer. After that, nickel is deposited on carbon powder for, uh, by electroplating. After heat treatment to burn out polyurethane resin home and carbon powder, we obtained nickel uh, cement. And we can also make nickel chromium cement and nickel tin uh, alloy cement. So we produce various cement using electroplating technology. They provide some benefits to fuel cell, uh, electrolyzer, and hydrogen storage. And we install the test system for SOFC and PEFC and electrolyzer to develop material technology. This is uh, our SOFC test system in a factory. We also have the holder for 100 by 100 millimeter size SOFC we designed. This is a schematic diagram of the prototype SOFC. So we tested cellmet uh, in SOFC as 
アーノード・カレント・コレクターニッケル・フェルト・イズ・フォー・コンパリソンインディス・テスト This is the result of power generation curve Blue dot is cellmate and red point is nickel felt at 800 temperature. So, as you can see, using nickel cellmate can improve about 30% performance. So, I think、uh, the reason a r e two. First is cellmate can fill the gap between interconnector and cell because of very It's very flexibility. So, second point is c e r a m e t has high porosity and uniform pore size. So, we can improve gas uniformity in SOFC using c e r a m e t So, at high utilization rate, SOFC with c e r a m e t generates about 30% higher power than SOFC with nickel felt because of improvement of conductivity and gas uniformity in SOFC. On the other hand, in cathode side,、uh, we also evaluated c e r a m e t The result of shown here、uh, cathode side required、uh, thermal resistance. So we selected nickel t i n c e r a m e t that has high thermal resistance. So nickel t i n c e r a m e t performs at the same level as platinum mesh for cathode current collector. And from same image and EPMA image、uh, after treatment, after heat treatment at 600 degrees for 1000 hours, uh, uh, nickel tin c e r a m e t was almost not oxidized. So, c e r a m e t can be applied both electrodes, anode side and cathode side, for improving performance. Next application is polymer electrolyte fuel cell. Main challenge in PEFC is reducing cost. We believe c e r a m e t is one of the best candidates to reduce PEFC cost. I will explain the reason. This is conventional structure in cathode side. As you know well, in this side, Uh, water is generated during operation. So, generated water is stored in this area. So,、uh, platinum on MEA under water is not working effectively. So, some platinum catalysts don't contribute to perform during operation. In this、uh, situation, I propose new c e r a m e t structure for PEFC. Using c e r a m e t that has high porosity improves water emission. So it is, it is possible to reduce that to the amount of platinum catalyst that didn't work、uh, well in the conventional structure. So for PEFC, we develop new nickel alloy c e r a m e t That is nickel chromium c e r a m e t We made、uh, nickel chromium c e r a m e t with flow channel. This image is、uh, it. So, dark area is flow path to drain water. And this is the result, test result. Green is c e r a m e t PFC with nickel chromium c e r a m e t shown good characteristics. This result suggested that generated water in PFC was drained smoothly. Based on the evaluation result using c e r a m e t is possible to reduce cost of PFC. Next application is alkaline electrolyzer.、Uh, we started to consider alkaline electrolyzer. So, this is a typical. Uh, electrolyzer structure. Expand metal、uh, bo uh, used both,、uh, both electrodes. So we plan to replace 
uh, expand metal to cell metal. And we, have all, uh, we also have roughness cell metal. By surface treatment, we also, uh, uh, this type of cell metal has larger surface area, so we expect uh, high performance uh, for electrolyzer. So we tested linear sheet voltammetry uh, to understand uh, cell metal for alkaline electrolyzer. So condition is a uh, general uh, measurement condition. So cell metal has good performance in both uh, electrode for alkaline electrolyzer. The last part of uh, this uh, presentation, I will introduce hydrogen storage with cell metal. We designed hydrogen storage with cell metal. This is a, a rough image. I will, uh, I use aluminum cell metal as a heat conductor. I use uh, porous SiO2 with catalyst as hydrogen uh, storage. Aluminum cell metal has uh, high uh, heat con conductivity. So the structure is expected to improve the hydrogen charging and discharging rates. This is a summary. Using cell metal can improve performance of various applications in hydrogen field. We have display cell metal and our uh, other products in our booth uh, at E71. Thank you for kind attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chihiro Hiraiwa. Are there any questions from the audience? If not, and considering the time, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Oh, if you, you have further questions, please go to the booth E71 to discuss the topic. Thank yeah. you again. Thank you.